Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. In the series of providing important questions, important contents for IBPS RRB GBO Scale 2 2023 exam, today we are providing financial awareness session. So we are covering financial awareness for the fourth week of March 2023. So I'll be trying to cover uh, full weeks financial awareness within like seven, eight minutes, I would say, okay, within seven to eight minutes, we are going to cover this session. Okay, so let's start before starting. Let me tell you we have started uh, IBPS RRB scale to scale 3 2023 course on bank exam .com. link is available in the description, you can join now. So let's start uh, with the ban of chat GPT in Italy. So in Italy, the chat GPT has been banned, let me just hide myself. So chat GPT has been banned in Italy, due to the fear of job loss. So job loss ka fear hai. there is a fear of job losses, data privacy, data privacy, due to these fears, the Italy, uh, the regulatory body in Italy has banned chat GPT, right? Uh, so AI chat board chat GPT, uh, backed by Microsoft chat GPT is backed by Microsoft, Microsoft has invested in chat GPT, Microsoft has invested $10 billion in chat GPT. So remember that it has been banned in Italy. The insurance regulatory and development authority of India IRDAI, it announced that life insurance corporation, this is number one, the GIC number two, the new India assurance company, Number three, they are considered domestic systematic important insurers. So domestic systematically important insurance and noted that they are viewed as being too big or too important to fall, uh, to fail, too big or too important to, uh, to fail. So domestically systematic important insurance, three insurers are there, LIC, GIC and New India Assurance Company. Please remember that it is important. Let's move forward. Current account deficit uh, shrinks to 2.2% of the GDP. These numbers are as on uh, 31st of March 2023. The data may be changed in the future. Okay, so if you are going to the exam in the month of July, August, September, please go through the latest data. UPI transaction charges on uh, prepaid payment instruments on the general account to account transaction that 99% 99.5% 99 of the people are doing, there will be no transaction charge for that. But if you are transferring your money to a wallet, and then making a, a payment, then there are certain charges. So not really important. The second question and third one is also important. But whenever you are going to the exam, please revise it, please check the latest data. TDS on online gaming winnings. So there was a threshold, there used to be a threshold. If the winning is above rupees 10,000, if the winning is above rupees 10,000, then you need to pay 30%, then the 30% TDS, 30% of winning has to be deducted. Okay, if the winning is 10,000 rupees, 30% of the winning amount has to be deducted as TDS by the <coughs> by the company. Okay. So uh, here, now this threshold has been removed. Now there is no such threshold. 30% of the winning amount plus the surcharges if there are so has to be deducted as TDS. Now there is TDS on online gaming winnings and it has to be deducted no matter what no threshold is there. Okay. Union Minister Sonowal launches Sagar Setu mobile app. Sagar Setu mobile app is there of National Logistic Portal Marine. So a lot of real time data would be available on this app. Okay, we shouldn't go really in depth on that. Uh, India's foreign exchange reserves rose to $578 billion as on 24th March 2023. It's really important. Please remember the name of the app, Sagar Setu app, who launched that, which ministry launched it, uh, TDS, what is the percentage of TDS, now there is no threshold, uh, what is the India's 
foreign reserve you need to remember that but this number is going to change in the future for sure if you are going to the for, for an exam please uh, recheck these numbers okay government extends mandatory fitness testing of heavy goods passenger vehicles from 1st of october 2024 so mandatory fitness uh, testing of the vehicles would be there would be in the place from 1st of October 2024 the guidelines are there but still the automatic testing mechanisms machinery is not ready as of the moment so it has been extended till 1st of October 2024 so whenever it is uh, applicable we'll be getting more information but you should know that this policy of you know automatic uh, fitness testing of the heavy goods and the passenger vehicles it's going to be start from 1st of october 2024 so government raised interest rates on most small saving schemes so uh, the, the interest rate uh, has been changed for a lot of saving schemes for uh, ppf public provident fund it is unchanged at 7.1 percent you are supposed to remember these rates ppf is 7.1 percent national savings certificate pay 7.5 percent up from seven percent uh, for sukanya smriti yojana sukanya smriti yojana it is eight percent for sukanya smriti yojana it is eight percent up from 7.6 percent for kisan vikas patra for kisan interest rate on senior citizen scheme is 8.2 percent for kisan vikas patra it is 7.6 percent up from 7.2 percent okay uh, the cvp the kisan vikas patra will mature in 115 months as against 120 months earlier okay so please remember these numbers okay it's very very important in the exam most of the times questions are asked from these topics as a questions exams may a jate hai bahut hi common hai let's move forward excess bank and shriram housing uh, signed a co-lending pact co-lending pact it is not a fact it is a pact so they signed the co-lending pact there is a co-lending agreement between excess bank and shriram housing company okay very important please remember that it can be asked in the exam uh, with which uh, you know bank shriram housing uh, company has signed a co-lending agreement that is excess bank the bis bureau of india standard will be prohibiting sale of hallmarked gold jewelry or gold artifacts without six digit alphanumeric hallmark unique identification number without an huid uh, any jeweler cannot sell any jewelry without six number six digit alphanumeric hallmark unique identification number a piece of jewelry cannot be sold from 1st of april 2023 so very important reliance industries acquired syntax industries limited it is i guess nine decades old industry syntax industry uh, meta launched instagram blue tick subscription in india as well following the twitter which launched its premium subscription for the blue tick and the meta verified accounts for the instagram verified accounts would be like 1450 rupees for mobile and 1099 for web debt mutual fund tax issue is there so see students before uh, i mean till as of now till 31st of march 2023 <clears throat> you can get uh, you could get indexation benefit so after three years if you hold uh, the debt mutual funds for more than three years you can you could get the benefit of indexation but now the taxes i mean the lower tax bracket was there but now uh, the tax has to be paid according to your tax labs so debt it is a dent on debt mutual fund holders because higher tax has to be paid there is no indexation benefit available for the debt uh, mutual fund holders uh, ubs acquired the credit suisse which is a big news please remember that okay so that's all for today pretty short lecture within 10 minutes we covered one week of uh, financial awareness news 
every week we are going to do this uh, uh, news coverage on every saturday we are going to do this so stay updated ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com please check it this is a free lecture most probably from next week onward we are going to you know make it make this session part of our paid course so i would highly recommend you to join the course uh this is our number here you can ask your doubts if there is any you can access our course on our mobile apps apps are available on ios and android platforms you can access the course from our website as well bankexamstoday.com list of our successful students all these happy faces they took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams i am really really happy for them uh all these students they took our courses and if there is any doubt in your mind ask your doubts my number is there and that's i guess all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye